Hey there, Seer here, dancing in my four-star apartment and having a great time thinking about games. Some of the, the best ones, like Clay Fighter for the Super Nintendo Ascertainment Shitstum, and the, I, don't, I don't know, Half-Life 2 for the scooby dooby doo and the... Uh... This is one of your picks for the best game ever made. No, sorry, I got that wrong. This is the best game ever made. But the title rhymes with Cockarina. That can't be a good sign. I know, you're probably thinking, play the game, and then you'll see. It's better than fucking everything else ever made. It's got the combat you ignore for 90% of the game. It's got the horseback bow section that makes one want to eat an Octorok. And it's really just a big square housing a few attractions. And it isn't even the first open world game ever made, but everyone says it is. And some of the puzzles are obtuse and hard to comprehend, like laying a fish at Jabu Jabu's mouth. And everyone Link meets the sage, and there's no very ability and weapons, and there's redundant items, and boots as a slot, and bottom of the well, and magic spells that are bad, except Din's Fire. Din's Fire gets me fired up, let me tell you, and it's got awesome music, but less awesome music than some of the other entries in Zelda games, so how can it be considered objectively the best in that regard, and the world is iconic, but Poe Hunting, oh my god, Poe Hunting is the worst shit I've ever done in my life, and I've fought in nine wars and been hit by ten trucks. <sighs> And I've also played Diablo 4. Really, I have to say Ocarina of Time is the most defended game of all time, and I'm not even aiming to be funny anymore. This is going to be a sad time. I'm mad. I haven't used a period in 250 words. I'm going to give you the ultimate breakdown of why I think The Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time, is not the best ARPG Zelda game ever made. After our last time together, looking at the faces of evil, I figured nothing could be more evil than those faces, but this game's reputation, now that's a stinking evil motherfucker. For me, I have been dreading this moment because I am a grand contrarian, a remarkable ass sucker, a total pain in the membrane, for lack of better terms, as I genuinely don't like Ocarina of Time. And it's not a lack of having played the game. I played the game back in ye old new game times. I didn't even like it back then. It pissed me off because I like jump buttons, but we don't get that. I also don't like repetitive combat that gives the player nothing. Here's where we'll start. The ideal way to play Ocarina is to avoid 95% of all enemy encounters because there's no incentive to killing them. There's drops are more easily found inside of bushes than inside of Big Deku Babas. And also because most encounters are just a pain in the ass. Every battle in Ocarina involves tossing on that Z-targeting, and anyone who's clambering around saying this system is fantastic hasn't noticed the big gun in my hand, demanding that you agree it sucks because I hate this shit. It won't latch onto what I need, it shares the button with looking forward so it'll whip you to targets that you're trying to fuck off from, and all this is in service of nothing. It's pointless to fight anything that doesn't have progression requirements. You might think money, cash, the big dinero to buy things like bombs, bombs, but you genuinely never need money except for one awful fucking minigame that I'll bitch about in uh, four seconds. Let me tap my watch and wait. Okay, and I spent practically zero dollars until the bow training ground section, and yeah, that's right, I suck dick. I'm lame and can't aim, but this is just misery. The fact that people out there can do this on command on this weird three dick controller is astounding to me. And the rewards for a lot of the annoying minigames in Ocarina are pointless. If you didn't have fun with the minigame and all you get is the ability to hold 50 Kora cocks, then that doesn't, then that, what? Then doesn't that dick suck? That's what I wrote. That doesn't that dick suck? Yeah. There's no need for any minigame participation to get better stuff anyway. Ocarina is actually too easy because you can hold four fucking free lives that resurrect you if you somehow take 20 hits in a row without finding a pot. And sometimes in a pot is another life. And I think I should get a life and stop bitching about this already. But no, I won't. I wanted to feel some sincere difficulty. And you might say the bosses is where the difficulty erupts from. But let's go over the bosses in order. Goma, shoot eye and tug penis. Dodongo. Go throw a bomb at head and tug penis. Baronade? Tug penis. Phantom Ganon. <laughs> Foe Lava Gia. Hang the fuck on. Hang on. Back it up. We're talking about this Nintendo. Who do I gotta throw my anvil at? Why are the both pronunciations of Volvagia and Volvagia so suggestive sounding? That's why I say Volavagia. It's forcing me to use fantastic language ability instead of getting demonetized again. Oh, the fight? I don't know. Use hammer because Nintendo likes making you use the item you just got to win fights because the game was made for eight-year-olds. Let's be honest. Morpha. Okay, th uh, this fight was hard. Yeah, I mean, I, I hate it. It really sucked. Fuck this fight. Twin Rova. Oh, wait, skip one. Uh, bongo Bongo. Shoot stiff hook shot into hands and the boss plays into your hands. Yeah. Yeah, back to Twin Rova. Twin Rova, hold shield and also hold penis. Great King of Evil, Ganondorf, Dragmire. More like drag my ass over his face. Caught him. High five. And uh, yeah, this fight is annoying. I don't like it. And finally, Ganon, who is just a literal ape battle as you roll under his penis and swing like a madman at his weak spot, which isn't his penis. I mean, that would hurt me the most. So whatever, he sucks. What was the point of this? Well, let me review the script up to this point. 
Oh yeah, these bosses aren't going to kill you, probably. Phantom Ganon did kill me, forget that, but this is just the grand challenge of the game, and it's not that grand at all. It's a grander challenge to stay awake while playing Ocarina of Time, walk on the fucking ledges and jump and fucking suck. Oh, my neck! Oh, you want to talk dungeons, you Ocarina Rider? Okay, let's talk dungeons, fine, but they don't push the game from the top 1% of all things ever made into the best game of all time. I'll tell you that much. Most liked game of all time, that's fine, I'd concede that, but anything with the fire, water, and shadow temples can lick my butt. I've been since demonetized for swearing about Ocarina too much, and I won't be able to say anything worse than butt, pee pee, poo poo, and fucking anymore. But even the good temples that hyper fans swear by, like the Forest Temple, it's not that fun. What are you trying to lie to people? It's just a couple fights where you probably just ignore a square room that leads to four corners, where in two of them you push blocks for 10 hours because Link can't push a 10,000 pound rock very fast, weak bitch. And then the other two rooms where you solve the exact same puzzle by shooting paintings. Oh boy. They're getting wild here. And Gaunt. I just typed Gaunt. That's beautiful. Staying in my shit post video. Anyway, Jabu Jabu's belly, the literal pits of ass. That's fun for anyone on Earth? I don't think so because I see people say how shitty that part of the game is all the time. And then people have randomizers delete parts of the game they can't stand. And I start to wonder if there's several parts of a game that you don't want to play, like you hate them, then can this possibly really be considered the best fucking game ever made? And story. Well, fine. It's a nice plot, except every single person Link likes and talks to, except for the owl is a legendary sage of ultimate power. Also, I say talk to loosely. Link looks at them with his oddly powerful circular eyes and they speak back to him. And I just went to Reddit for some ungodly terrible reason. And if I see another comment about how I'm looking at this game with a modern lens, I will make a sandwich for myself out of a bomb because it's not a recency bias. I also hate all modern Zeldas. <laughs> and personally, I love A Link to the Past. I think the game is fantastic even now. I wholeheartedly rec recommend it. But just because I hate going around on horseback looking for invisible ghosts that vanish upon touching anything that I have to shoot immediately just to get a bottle to make an easier game easier. I apparently have no critical faculties and it's time I take a shit in my pants because I'm an infant fuck who wasn't there for the glory days of Ocarina. My bad, forgot I'm zero years old. And all I like is GTA 5 and new games with bigger worlds. Sorry, forgot. I'm so mad. Real life mad. Non-April Fool's Day joke levels of mad. I love this dismissive attitude about oot shit talkicism. And if I'm told this is the first open world game again, I swear I will do nothing and just be calm and eat some kind of breakfast, maybe some lunch or perhaps dinner because it's not. The first Zelda is just like this one. Besides, Hyrule Field has one independent location that matters inside of it and then a bunch of corners that lead to dungeon locations. Okay, also, Movement in Ocarina is shit. Admit it right now. Tell me you think it's shit how running backwards is the fastest way to move around and then otherwise you have to mash the roll button the whole game and crash into walls. Just normal walking around is terrible in combat. It's all flipping backwards and more holding Z. Tell me right now. Admit it. Mario 64 was better controlling. I will suck Mario 64, 64 dicks over over Ocarina on this front any day. Also, the game is lonely as fuck. Have you noticed there's nobody really to talk to? Everybody kind of feels sad. That's what I think. That's a personal opinion. I know it is, but you know, fuck it. I don't like it. Feels lonely. Link to the past didn't feel lonely. I don't know why. Felt like there was more stuff going on. And let's talk replayability, a cornerstone of a perfect game, and Ocarina feels like ball sack for this, because now every dungeon represents tedium of doing puzzles you already know how to do, and a bunch of busy work like minigames and the like, that I can only imagine it's fun to do again if you've not played the game in 20 years, and therefore don't remember solutions to any of the puzzles. Blue Flame! Now that's the, that's the entire next point. Oh, I'm tired, I've been yelling so much. Help me, suck my penis. Suck my dick. Suck my balls. <laughs> Blue Flame, that's the next entire point. Blue fucking Flame, a good game would have these fire arrows work for these ice blocks, but it didn't. Zelda's Lullaby is the most important piece of music in existence for some reason, and it is far overused even where it shouldn't make sense. Like Fred shopping, he couldn't hold a candle to this powerhouse musical ability that the little girl and her family made. Get dunked on, bitch. Rubbing my brow to think what to talk about next, it's section 4A, divorcing from the idea that Ocarina is the best ARPG Zelda game ever made. No one on earth enjoys enjoys the mini games, and if you do, I'm asking you to leave me a large letter in the form of a scroll right on my front lawn because they're all bad. Bomb shoe bowling. Actually, I like this one for some reason. It's really gross, but I kind of dig it. Target practice. Look in chests with magnifying glass. Target shooting on horseback. Maze thing. It's so much nothing fun. It's crazy, and I don't mind tedious or boring mini games if the rewards are hyper cool, but they aren't. Spoilers for Ocarina. Sephiroth kills Aerith, but there's no good mini game rewards. And you think Golden School Tulas are worth 
worth anything? Well, they are up to 50 to be honest, with one of the rewards being a Rumble Pack advertisement or something, but getting all 100 of these is the lamest reward of all time. First, it takes the entire game by far to find them all, so long that you have to get through every dungeon and do almost everything except kill Ganon, and all you get is to meet Jeff Bezos. Alright, sure. Weapon choice is pathetic, and it doesn't matter, because you have the Master Sword, or Big Sword, and Big Sword is around for 5% of the game, and it isn't as good as Master Sword, so good, that's fun, well done. Forgot a boss, Dark Link, he was pretty cool, so good you get one point in your corner, Ocarina Simps. Spells are cool, I like looking at their icons, they fill me with a wonderful sense of nostalgia, like oh my god, blue, look! And you know what? I use Green Godwind and Fire Spell a lot and Blue Spell I never use once, you know, no problem, but it spells fine, whatever, push. And arrow types I never bothered swapping at all, like doesn't that scream the best game of all time by far when you don't use nearly anything to beat the game? I'm a literal salt pile right now, if you dumped water on me I just become the Atlantic. This Reddit comment, now this is all we're doing now, we're just reading Reddit comments and getting mad because I've declared that I get to be the big brain gamer and mom says you can't be, fuck yourself, that's what mom said, but here's a sweeping comment about how Ocarina of Time is the best Best game of all time because Link has an amazing character growth and arc where he matures thanks to all the great wise people in the world who offer him advice. And we feel so great through this process of maturation that we are witnessing Link complete his coming of age journey as a fully accomplished hero. Even if this fucking shitty fucking shit was true, and it's not, Link never says anything, but this argument doesn't mention anything about the gameplay. And that's my beef, I get liking things. To me, my favorite game of all time is Dark Team Fortress. Fortress. Yeah. Final Fantasy yeah. 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 The Incredible yeah. Machine. But I don't argue my favorite thing is literally better than everything else. It's my favorite, and no one can take that away from me. If you want to argue objectivity though, your product can never be boring, it has to be constantly loved. It requires no faults. In fact, Tetris could easily be the best game ever made, right? It's simple, infinitely replayable, addictive, and it's just kind of perfect. Ock Arena, on the other hand, is not what I'd call perfect, hopefully for reasons I've outlined well enough. But you know what? I will say this. Ocarina of Time is iconic. It's a game that makes you think of gaming. It's a titan, being one of the finest examples of the whimsy of an era. It's got flaws that get ignored and anger me greatly, but it's got simple charms that remind me of coming home from school, of early weekends weekends and a sense that everything is all right. For that, Ocarina of Time will always get my praise. It is a beautiful game. It's just shit is all. Anyway, it's time I go back to my regular scheduled video making. Time to continue finding the best battle royale game ever made. We've covered Fortnite, the shittiest product ever made for good reasons akin to what I feel about Ocarina of Time, but will and I stopped writing the script. It's out. It's gone. There's nothing there. I'll write the script live, actually. Let's see. What would I say? What kind of joke would I say? So, uh, with the shittiest product, uh, yeah, Fortnite, horrible fucking game. I'll make a video on that one day. If you want to hear me say, hear, hear me say shit, I have shit to say. Uh, um, what I feel about Ocarina of Time. We'll be back later. Kind of don't have anything else to say because uh, I am out of angry words and I hope you have a great April, you, uh, total Chad viewers, I'm going to go back and touch myself. <laughs> Have a good day. Fuck you. Da, 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 da. The game it fucking sucks, it fucking sucks. The game is shit, it is shit, shit. The game is fucking shit, it's shit, it's shit, it's shit.